Thank you. 
GG Hello, hello everybody, welcome, welcome to this night of race against, uh, I mean between Cantaloupe, me and GTAs, how are you guys uh, doing ton uh, tonight, how are you guys doing, I expect a really good race uh, between Cantaloupe and I'm, I'm, I'm followed here by my friend Ghost Senpai uh, tonight for the commentary, how are you tonight Ghost? What's up, Dino? Everything is fine. What about you? I'm doing good. I'm excited about this race. Both of these runners are pretty good on this game. I know Cantaloupe runs a lot of games as well, so I have never seen him speedrunning uh, Super Mario Bros. 1. However, due to his history in other games, I expect that it's going to be a, a good race and, and runners should be ready like really, really soon. Uh, we're just uh, waiting for them to, I guess, uh, start the race in SRL and we should be starting as soon. Uh, do you have any thoughts for this race, Ghost? Well, honestly, I haven't. Also, I haven't seen any Cantaloupe in runs. I just got G seeing some GTA ones, but at the same time, I think that maybe this is gonna be an interesting race. There's no joke. This is gonna be a very good match. I have a good hope about this. Mostly because Cantaloupe has a 20 minutes and 27 seconds PB, while GTA has a 19.14, but since there's a kind of difference from like 
one minute, we need to consider that in these cases, this is not like a regular run where you can reset or something. So maybe something different can happen in any of the three cases. Maybe some human mistakes can make that a runner gets bent on the vantage into another one, but at the same time, I think that this is going to be a very good race. Yeah, I 100% agree that this is going to be a very good race. Uh, and now, I mean, in a tournament environment, many, many things can happen. So I guess we're going to be seeing here. Uh, the race has started now, uh, both runners, uh, I mean, just in 1-1, one, one, but I mean, many things can happen starting from 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Like, I don't know if they're gonna be going for like flap cool glitches or uh, any other stuff like that. But there's many, many things that can save little by little time over the other runners. And I don't know, we'll see what type of strats they do if the small Mario, fire Mario, small fire Mario. Um, we'll see, we'll see. Do you have any predictions for the race, Ghost? Well, I, I am the one who likes to well, to put some cheers to the guy, to, m to the more weakness guy. So I, I'm gonna see that Cantaloupe is gonna win this match, since his PB is one minute more than GTA one. I don't know about you. All right. Um, I like both runners. Uh, whoever wins, I expect it to be a good match. So I'm cheering for a good match. I, I hope that no, like really, really weird mistakes happen between these two. Like whoever yeah. wins, it wins legit, not with like some weird issue that happened on the other side. Okay, and now here we can see something different, talking about the strats that bot runners are having. We can see now that in 1-2, Cantaloupe went for the Super Mario power-up, while GTA still is being on, on Small Mario. Looks like he's gonna go through the Mushroom on 1-3. And maybe Cantaloupe can go through the Fire Flower on this stage, or maybe he's gonna wait. Okay, he's gonna wait. He just went. He's just going straight forward, forward during this stage. So maybe later we can see that part of the runners can be so lined up like kind of sync. But for now, GTA has a little advantage, but that's something that we cannot define for now. Everything is gonna be defined on they move to the second world. And now GTA got his first mistake. He unfortunately failed on 1-4, he died, he fell in a hole. So that means that he needs to start again the stage. Well now we can see that definitely Cantaloupe is going now on the leading game. Okay, I think that, that was something bad. GTA lost his power up. Again, it looks like the cycles weren't so good since he respawned. And now it's time to see the action on 2-1, while Cantaloupe now has the Fire Mario power-up. And now GTA is gonna start the second world without using any power-up. But he now is catching the mushrooms over here. Yeah, and we see GTA is uh, very unfortunate that, like you mentioned, and he needs to get all the power-ups again to be as uh, Big Mario uh, and I believe, I mean, I think that both of the runners are comfortable enough with uh, Big Fire Mario in theory that's like the fastest strats for this game, uh, Big Fire Mario the reason why it's faster to wait for getting the power-ups is because of when you're killing Bowser when you kill it with, uh, with the fire, with the flower you don't need to wait for the animation for the bridge to go out and all that so it's faster like over time it saves time when you're fire Mario but there's another strat that we have not yet seen in the tournament so far of a small fire Mario there is kind of a glitch that you can set up by killing Bowser at the same frame that he like damages you and you can actually get the fire power like with a small Mario sprite that is a little bit safer than big fire Mario but it's also a little bit slower and so far we have not seen anybody doing that route but maybe there's a possibility that one runner is gonna do that. I don't know if I'm able to mention it, but otherwise, another of the guys that is also in this tournament has been practicing recently the small fire Mario workless run. So maybe we can watch that and see which kind of differences and advantage you can have when you are on that, which phase. So, now. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Okay. 
to the streets, uh, kind of strange state also. Nothing interesting to say here, you just need to keep aware of the cheap chips that are flying around. Fortunately, the pattern's not so random, but at the same time, you need to be so careful, otherwise they can hit you and in this game, whatever if you are a Super Mario or Fire, Fire Flower Mario, you can lose the, your power-ups and we can see that GTA went for an any person strat, which is the flagpole glitch into the stream. Maybe with this he can say a little amount of time and try to be so closer to Cantaloupe. Now Cantaloupe finished 2-4 and in some moments it's gonna be time for GTA to do the same. Now, depend well, if we compare the mistake that GTA got on 1-4, we can see that now he's more even closer to Cantaloupe at this moment. So maybe he can make a comeback in the future if Cantaloupe makes a, mit a mistake or he doesn't ap apply some advanced strats in the game. For but that's something that we're going to see later in the run. Right now, uh, where we're looking the first uh, level that is actually on the night setup. <laughs> I really, really like the night setup. I don't know why. I think I'm gonna be saying that in every race that I can stream. I mean, that I'm commentator. Uh, but oh. not a lot of things happening on three. It's kind of a straightforward type of world. Uh, I mean, a little bit of platforming here and there, but so far, both runners, I think they should be good with World 3. I don't expect to see any weird issues in this stage. No, well, usually war the first four wars are not a big problem. The problem starts on you start with World 5. It can be a little annoying, but the harder part starts on definitely on World 6. So basically this stage is just like a kind of way to get used about what, what are you gonna see during all, all the game, during all the run. So now both runners are on 3-3 and now it's time to, for Cantaloupe to go through stage 4 on this world and then move to the 4th world that, well, many people are used mostly to watch Worlds 1 for an egg to do the any person run, so we're gonna see that probably on 4-1 we're gonna see something like that usual any person route and we have seen here that Cantaloupe prefer to play a little safely at the end maybe it can look like safely but sometimes it's better to wait for the Britney Boo and the also the far that Bowser has thrown and well now it's time to see some action in World, in world 4 and it looks like we well looks like Cantaloupe it is having like ten, it's like 10 seconds ahead than GTA but do you think, Dino, that maybe on this first match, GTA can get so close to Cantaloupe or also make a comeback? Uh, yes, I think, like you mentioned, uh, we're he we're heading to world number five, and there's uh, my, uh, some few things that can happen in world number five, uh, especially like in five two. Maybe if they decide to go Jolo, there's a troll bullet bill at the beginning of five two. That if uh, it snipes like Cantaloupe or GTAs, that could cost some time because they would need to waste some time to get their um, to get their power ups again. And also, for example, we see here Cantaloupe taking a little bit of time to get over there on the top. So GTAs might save a little bit of time on this stage as well against uh, Cantaloupe. And it's just like little seconds by seconds that GTAs has to play a little bit better right now to try to catch up with Cantaloupe me. That dead was definitely a uh, set backward to GTA. And also something that we have so over here on 4 2 it's that both runners went through the roof on this stage. But GTA went directly using the first platform that appears in the game and Cantaloupe preferred to break some blocks in order to reach that higher part just to play a bit safely and avoid the enemies. Maybe that GTA movement can help him to try to reach Cantaloupe up to this point but at the same time, the time is gonna define everything and we have seen that Cantaloupe finished with a 260 on IGT 
but GTA got a 261, meaning that he beat it this stage faster, meaning at the same time that this is a good signal about what can happen later on the run. Now GTA got a little mistake, he forgot to move starting the stage, and with 4-4 we start with some mazes that we need to move, make that Mario move through some specific pa patterns on the stage, otherwise the stage is gonna keep looping and unfortunately bot runners loses their power up so they need to move a bit safely up to this point just to reach the axe at the end of the bridge and keep moving to the next stage. And now starting 5-1 since bot runners are on small Mario pace the run definitely is gonna change. Maybe in some parts they need to play a bit safely and we're gonna wait until we see the moment where both of the runners go through the power-ups again. Yeah, yeah we can see that both of the runners are playing so safely. Yeah, and, and, uh, yeah, because there, there's more Mario right now, and if GTA's already died, he's of course doesn't want to die again. And Cantaloupe, like, I don't know if he might be watching the race or not, but it's I think it's the safe. I mean, it's I think it's the best option to just go safe right now that you're a small Mario. And oh man, a little bit of a commentator. Oh, I, I like okay, to call Cantaloupe it commentator power. Have died, and also GTA died even when he went for a mushroom but uh, well now since cantaloupe reached the checkpoint flag on this stage he still having his advantage but gta wasn't able to reach that part so he started the stage again and now cantaloupe lose his power up again but he now finished 5-2 but now it's time to see which is the lock of gta now gta went for both power ups on this stage so maybe he can have a little advantage your cantaloupe and the situation since cantaloupe doesn't have any power up at this moment and now cantaloupe have died he jumped over a bullet bill and then he was trolled by the goomba so now up to this point gta has a huge opportunity to reach to reach him well cantaloupe have died again unfortunately it means that now gta is on the lead and we can see that 5-3 it's like 1-3 but a bit different for example the platforms are more small and also we have the bullet beats on bullet, the bullet bills on the screen now fortunately cantaloupe has have died and he used the continues the, the continue code in the game but that puts him again into 5-1 meaning that now definitely gta has a good opportunity to win this match but at the same time, the luck and the RNG and also the human factor can be a thing on this game. So, if GTA can ma can manage to finish this run without having any major issues, he can win definitely because now he's one world ahead, which is a huge difference in this game. Yeah. So while oh, and that <laughs> during that troll bullet build that I was talking about. So yeah, like you mentioned, uh, we saw Cantaloupe having to use the continue code here. Uh, I mean, it's good that they have a continue code that they don't have to start the game whole over again from the beginning. The problem with the continue code is that while it lets you to the same world that you were at, it doesn't leave you to the same level. So if you were like, let's say on like level 3 or level 4 from the world, Oh man, it's gonna be a major setback because you're gonna start again like in the level 1 like it happened with Cantaloupe He had to start all the way from 5-1 again And GTA has only two uh, lives left or two Marios left uh, like people sometimes call it So he's gonna Whatever the people wanna understand it Yeah <laughs> So he's gonna be careful with that because um, I don't know, he, I, I bet he doesn't wanna use the continue code as well I'm, I'm sure none of the runners want to use a continue code in this, uh, like, a race environment. And well, while we're trying to see if Cantaloupe is able to finish the fifth world, we can see now in action to GTA. He's having also problems here, and as we can see on 5-2, which I consider that it's the first troll stage in this game, Cantaloupe was trolled by the bullet bill that also cost him alive and 
Now GTA is trying to deal with the bullet bills that have been randomly on the stage. Fortunately, he was able to beat it. And now he's gonna start 5-4 while Cant, sorry, 6-4 while Cantaloupe fi has finished 5-4 up to this point. Yeah, we can see GTA is actually being very careful here. He's full grown up Fire Mario on 6-4 with a nice advantage. Right now, this is looking good for him. And now, okay, we got some some lag frames here because there was a lot of elements on the screen, like the hammers that Bowser has to start to throw, and also the fireballs that that GTA was throwing. But at the same time, that was good because he was able to defeat Bowser. Starting the 6-4, we start with some harder Bowser stages, since now Bowser starts to throw some hammers, and at the same time we have another obstacles on the bridge, depending on the stage. That, this was really a really, a really solid 7-1, and well, Candleloop's still playing a bit safely, and he's looks like he's having problems to move during this stage, trying to calculate the which is gonna be the good time to jump in order to land over a, over a pipe. And now we are on 7-2, there are two on, just two on underwater stages on this game, so this is the second and last one we wanna see what, with GTA during the run. It's kind of similar also to like 2-2, but it's a bit harder while well, we have more enemies and obstacles on the screen. But this stage is just pretty forward, forward you just need to keep swimming. It's, some runners prefer to run, to be swimming at the top of the screen, but there are some people that say that that's slower, but I really doubt about that because usually the top runners and also World Breakers has Mario swimming on the, at the top of the stage. Yeah, I believe all you have to do is like Dory from Finding Nemo said. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. In the sea, the sea, the sea. <laughs> That's all you gotta do in 7-2 and 2-2. Thank you Dory for the good advice for speedrunning Super Mario Bros. 1. And man, another brilliant Okay, that did. was... Okay, we can... With this, we can and again talk about how hard can be Bowser to defeat starting these worlds since now we need to be careful of the pity boo and also the the fireball that is in the bridge and also well Bowser throwing the hammers now Cantaloupe was able to finish 6-4 and GTA is on 7-4 which is also another maze stage that he needs to move in some specific patterns in order to don't loop the stage and see, since he's on fire, fire Mario he can defeat Bowser faster and well Cantaloupe died again but he used the continue code I think that did was on purpose because he knew that he only had one Mario left so I think that was a smart move because that way he just continues he refills the Marios that he has left and now he's with three lives uh, heading up into the whole world 7 uh, I think that's smarter rather than risking dying later on into World 7 and still using the continue and just going back all the way down to 7 1. Yeah, I was thinking the same because I forgot to mention this when Candle start uses the continue code on the first time in this match because and this can in this kind of stuff in the races well this can be used since for the rules, the continue code is not allowed, so if you're on a race you can use this as your favor just if you get some big mistakes and you start to die, so if you move to a new world but you just have one life, the best thing is just to lose a life starting the stage and then use the continue code, so with this you're gonna have three ups again, three lives, three marios, whatever you wanna say, it. and now it's time to enjoy World 8 with GTA. Now he's on 8-2 and just if he got big problems, he and um, Cantaloupe can get an opportunity on this match, but now up to this point it's gonna be hard. Also GTA tried to get the bullet bill glitch on 8-2, but unfortunately he wasn't able to get it and also he got some fireworks. 
Gantelope died on 7 2, and now he wa has one extra life. He just, just won one life, and up to this point, this is, this is gonna be something hard and risky at the same time. Because if he dies again and he uses the continues, he, he's gonna. If he uses the continue codes, he's gonna be back again on 7 1. Yeah, and we GTA, saw. We saw GTA a hungry squid. Those squids are hungry to get cantaloupe lives right there. <laughs> Uh, he was the one yeah. he managed to, to get past them, but those squids, man, they really, really wanted to get a little piece of cantaloupe right there. And GTA is already on 8 4. GTA is here. Uh, I think he should have no problem. I think he still have a little bit of lives left. Uh, even with small Mario, he should be used to getting clear of this level with small Mario because of any percent. And yeah, he's doing all the strats that need to be done in well, this stage. Queen Cantaloupe, we were we was aware that the bloopers were hungry and one of them got an extra life. And well, now it's time to see if GTA can manage to finish 8-4 without dying. Okay, that was a bit slow. He got stuck on a little block close to them, to the last pack of them. Underwater section, and now it's time for GTA getting a like a. Tw I think that that was a 20, 30. That was a very decent time, and now it's time to see if Cantaloupe is able to finish 7 4 and continue and finish his run, or he's gonna drop his, his run his, in order to go through the second match with these guys. So now GTA has a Point and we need to remember to you guys that this is a two, this is a best of three match. So the one, the first one who wins two matches is gonna be the winner, and the one that loses is gonna the, lo the loser is gonna move to the losers bracket, meaning that the the loser guy is gonna have a second opportunity on this tournament. And yeah, Rupert said that, that that was intentional and well, looks like Cantaloupe dropped his run. He decided just to reset his console since he died again, so this, this was I think that this was a GG for both guys. I think for GTA for finishing his run and Cantaloupe for GG. So we're gonna be starting up right now for the second race, guys. The microphone still is active on the yes, waiting yes. screen. Okay. So you from can, this you can um, here, I can say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I think that on this point, I can say, GG for both GTA and Candleloop. GTA, even with the mistakes, he was able to do a good round. Unfortunately, Candleloop got a huge amount of. RNG trolling moments during the run, but we hope that on this second match he is gonna be able to finish this the second the second round on this match. So keep tuning guys, we're gonna wait until both of the runners are able to start with the second match. So if you wanna see if you wanna say in comments even if it's on the Twitch and or Mixer stream, you can you can comment what have you like about this first match, what haven't you liked, which was the most impressive part for you, and which was the moment that maybe disappointed you in the aspect that you wasn't expecting something like that happened. And we just need to wait until the second match starts. It's gonna be an bit.
जी जी back with the second race of the night between GTAs and can't elude me for those of you that just joined I'm followed here I mean I'm accompanied here by ghost senpai so do you have any predictions for the second race ghost well I'm gonna keep cheating well if I look it looks like since I have cheered cantaloupe on the first round he loses so I'm gonna cheer now GTA in order to make that pod runners get tied and we're gonna in order to we can have a third match this night but let's see what does the luck says over here and also in chat let's see who has more support on this second match now GTA has one point Cantaloupe doesn't have anyone so if GTA wins again Cantaloupe's gonna be moved to the loser's bracket in order he can have a second opportunity and GTA will keep going through the winner matches and well now it's time to see what do we get now the race has to start and looks like now Cantaloupe hasn't go through the Super Mario stride on the first stage he is going through this normal, the, the, the small Mario one. Yeah, they're both deciding to go a small Mario on the first level. Actually, ideally, the the first level to get the power up faster, my it's one uh, three, and then after that, most of the runners get the fire flower at the beginning of one four. Yeah, usually one of three is better, it's the best stage, but if you don't feel comfortable with it or do you have problems, this is mostly for like newcomers. You can try to catch the power ups on the first two stages. Now Cantaloupe were for the Mushroom on one dash two and now he's going through the roof to play a bit safely. Yeah, that's a little bit slower, but it's definitely safer. You don't have to deal with the uh, piranhas out of the pipes and stuff like that. However, he had to be careful there and not to go with like muscle memory, I guess. As a kid, everybody would go on top over there to just take the warp pipes. So if you if you go that route, I guess you either reset the game or wait for the timer to run out so that you can actually move on forward to 1-3. Well, again, Cantaloupe is going straight through 1-3 and GTA went for the Mushroom on this stage. And, well, Cantaloupe was able to finish faster on IGT than 1-3 since he doesn't need to stop to, get, to grab the Mushroom. But at the same time, GTA looks like he's having the lead for some seconds. So let's see how everything gets disembolt on 1-4, now Cantaloupe used the box glitch to get faster than Fire Flower, and he's trying to play a bit safely on the stage and well, looks like the the, the Dino's blessings were heard because looks like we're gonna see some small Fire Mario action with GTA, he went through the glitch at the end of 1-4, so looks like Dino up to this point is gonna be the most hyped man during this race. Small fire Mario hype indeed. I, I love watching this. <laughs> I, I don't even know why there's actually a sprite. I mean, I understand that the glitch exists and all that, but to have a sprite for small fire Mario, like, was this planned at a certain point in time during development of this game, or, or, or why is there a small fire Mario sprite? That, that, that just, well, I just found that pretty, pretty interesting. Well, maybe there are just two points. The first one is that maybe that sprite doesn't exist and the game is trying to set up the colors of the far mario to small mario and also at the same time maybe the small far was on the was at the mind at the mind of the developers and we have to say that at the end of 1-4 gta decided to slow a bit to catch the flagpole since he was gonna get a six and that's the worst pattern you can get since the, if you finish the stage with a six you're gonna see some. You're gonna, you're gonna see six fireworks, which takes a huge amount of time. And now, both of the runners are on two two. So well, now the good thing is that up to this point, 
comparing this with the first race, now there's not a big difference between the runners and it looks like everything has going fine up to this point. And well, time to move to 2-2 and on Twitch chat, Dragonfire says that I, I will think that the far forward triggers a probably change. I am still thinking the same about it, so that's the reason why we don't have a sprite of this because in Super Mario Bros. Deluxe, which was the 1999 remix for the Game Boy Color, on the Japanese version of the game we can trigger the small fire glitch. But the difference here is that when we shoot the fireball we can see that the fireball comes out like if you were on the big fire for Mario face but you don't see for a half of a second or for some frames the normal Mario normal Luigi on fire on the fire setup his the character still being small so maybe that's a difference here because when, at the time when you throw the firewall maybe you trigger a, a sprite in the game and this is just a color palette change during the run and yeah, for those of you uh, that don't know, I mean, in the small fire Mario, the, the reason why people do that is because, again, it's safer to run as a small fire. And uh, not only it's safer, but it's because the hitbox is smaller. The hitbox is just like small Mario. And even when you see that they're throwing a fireball, like uh, Ghost was saying, it kind of looks like he grows up. It kind of looks like the big Mario for just like a frame or a fraction of a second. Uh, the hitbox is still the same, the hitbox properties are still kept as a small fire Mario right there when he kind of grows up for, for a moment. So definitely small fire Mario has the vintage of the small Mario plus the fire Mario ability. But at the same time it's sometimes it's slower, well it's slower to catch it because you need to wait until on a specific moment in order to get it, you need to wait until Bowser is getting close to you while you're so close to the X and you need to be precise because at the same time you need to touch Bowser and you need to touch the X at the end of the reach on the castle stages. And well, even where, while GTA went for the small fire Mario glitch, he's a bit ahead than Candleloop, so definitely this match is going better than the first one and Candle got one firework making that he loses a little amount of time not a big deal I hopefully mean, on the previous race they were kind of pretty close uh, from each other up until stage 5 oh no never mind I think Cantaloupe died earlier I forgot about that yeah, yeah so no far, GTA oh, died on 1-4 oh that's so right so Cantaloupe right. wasn't going and then world 5 happened <laughs> yes World 5 is a big pace killer. That world has killed a lot of my attempts, so I need to play it a bit safely. And also, another vintage about having the advantage about having the, the fire power up is that you can shoot some fireballs, fireballs in order to defeat Bowser as fast as possible, and with this, save time because you don't need to watch the animation while. The bridge is cutting and also Bowser is falling down. So, well, unfortunately, Cantaloupe um, has lost his power up while he's trying to defeat Bowser with the with the firebolts. So now this is gonna be a bit different. Let's see if he goes through the power ups on four dash two and now GTA got the flagpole glitch in 4-1 and yes it looks like cantaloupe it's taking a bit safer this run and okay GTA GTA is going for any person strat in order to gain some extra time which is kinda interesting Okay, Cantaloupe has grabbed the mushroom, starting 4-2. And now he grabbed the fire power-up. He's gonna wait for the platform, and now he's on the roof again. Yeah, 
that was a little bit of swag of 4-2 right there on GTA's side that strat is normally seen on the very very top runners for any percent because they want to move they want to scroll the position of the screen towards uh, I mean reference of Mario to do a ground warp uh, that's really not needed for warpless but it was nice to to, uh, to see a showcase just of that little clip into the wall right there Heading into 4-4 four, four right now, uh, so far, I mean, both runners, there's been minor issues here and there, but so far, this is like uh, Ghost said, it's a pretty clean race so far, and we see a little bit of the first Maze Castle, we didn't speak too much about the Maze Castles in the, in the game, there's two Maze Castles actually, in the whole game. And no, there's three. Also, oh, there's many people three. like to forget that. Yes, because also, oh, eight, 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 eight dash four. four. It's a, it's a maze one. You but are one hundred percent right. The maze is a, it's a kind of different because you don't need to follow a pattern. But on on this on eight dash four, you need to choose the correct uh, pipe to warp to another part of the castle. Now GTA loses his small fire pace and now he's playing a bit safely because maybe he can look like if he's on the big mario pace but at the same time the game thinks that he's on the small on small mario pace so if he gets a hit he's gonna die instantly so now this is gonna be something risky and dangerous for gta so if he starts to play safely until he grabs some power-ups that this can be a cantaloupe opportunity to make a comeback so because he, now they just have a one stage of differences so GTA's went from small fire Mario to big small Mario to small big Mario something like that that kind of question has never allowed me to sleep in the night so you know <laughs> Okay, now we are on small fire with GTA again, this is something good, and well, we can see that the difference is not something so big, but at the same time, now Cantaloupe is, has lost his power-ups, and now he grabbed a mushroom again, he's now on Super Mario Pace, now he grabbed the fire flower, so let's see how everything goes at the end of this stage. And he waited again in order to get a 5, because otherwise the 6 triggers the fireworks again. And 5-3 has been finished by GTA, and Cantaloupe is gonna start it, so... This is the point that we're gonna start to ask to ourselves, which is gonna be the point where one of the runners maybe can fail or something, and can give the opportunity to another one to win this match, or maybe finish as close as, as closer as they can well 5-4 was looks look like something easy with GTA so let's see what does Cantaloupe does because he started a bit slower trying to get a bit safely I think at the beginning of 5-4 you have to wait anyway, otherwise you might get sniped by one of those fire coming out of the lava on the like the second jump of the stage. Yeah, there's in these castles there are some specific spots that you will like to wait just to get a good cycle with some obstacles you're gonna find during the castle stage. And while GTA, well it looks like now GTA is not having uh, any kind of big problems trying to defeat this stage as he's going faster like in a normal route while Cantaloupe is looking that he's still playing a bit safely like he's jumping about some stuff in the game and it looks like I have talked so faster because now GTA got hit it and now he's on a very very dangerous uh, situation he's a small big Mario again <laughs> yeah, I think that we can consider this glitch like that because literally, and, and also got a he, six right there at the end of the stage. Yeah, he got a six. Was, that, he can get. that was something bad. And now six dash three. It's time to bless and hope that he doesn't get trolled by the bullet bills on the stage. I think that we got bullet bills on the stage if I remember correctly. Starting some point of the stage or yes. I was right, I was talking about myself, I don't know why. 
<laughs> I mean, it's normal. Th those bullet bills are kind of random. Like, where are they coming from? For the fortress? Or who is actually firing those? That's, uh, unfortunately, that kind of stuff is that things that we are not gonna never know. <laughs> and 6 4 has a start. Let's see. Let's see if GTA can finish this faster or something bad is gonna happen. Okay, he got luck. Bowser has jumped and he started to throw the fireballs in order to defeat him. And he saved a little amount of time instead of waiting to grab the axe and wait until the bridge fall down. And Candelope is going also a bit safer since. His hitbox is higher since he's not using the glitch and well he got damage and now he's a small farm Mario he's small Mario again. So let's see now how World 7 goes because there's some good opportunities that Cantaloupe can reach GTA, but at the same time when that happens something on the run it's making that cantaloupe starts to play safely and start to lose some time that we can that he can use to get closer to GTA. And well, that was something awful. He was hit by one hammer, so that means that he's gonna start the stage again. I think I haven't put attention, but I think that that's the first dead of the run. I believe it. If is, I'm not yeah. mistaken. Yes, that's the first, the first dead. So definitely comparing this with the first run of this night. Um, this second match has been going better. It's up to this point, GTA hasn't died, and I don't know if he's on a PB pace or something. I really doubt it, but he's having a very good run. But now Cantaloupe has lost one life, which is something bad. Yeah, and he's gonna be careful. He's gonna be careful in 7-2 because we saw this last race with that he was a small Mario on 7-2, and some of those bloopers were really, really hungry. I'm getting a piece of cantaloupe right there, so I think no. I think he's doing a better streaming overall anyway. So he's like, yeah, you know what, bloopers, you're not gonna get a piece of me. Yeah, I think that maybe the reason why Cantaloupe failed a lot at the end is because maybe, well, I don't know, that happens to me sometimes, so I think that maybe that happened to him, that when you're doing a run and then you get a lot of mistakes, sometimes you don't want to continue, or just you want to stop it, so I think that maybe that was the reason why he decided to stop on 7-4 instead of starting the world again and trying to finish his run. So now this is something good because he was able to beat 7-2, so maybe this can be a good opportunity to see him finishing a run during this match. While we wait until GTA finishes 7-4. I mean, all things considered, he's really not that far behind. It's just one level away from GTA. It's right here with 7-4, so who knows? Many, many things can still happen in World 8. And as we say it at the start, everything can happen, so if GTA gets a really, really awful mistake that can cost him a huge amount of time, that can be an opportunity for Cantaloupe to come back on this race. Yeah, especially here in World 8, where there's no middle checkpoints for the levels. Like, if you actually die, you go all the way back to the beginning of the level. Like, uh, on the contrary to all the other levels from like 1 1 to 7 4, whenever you die, you would. I, I don't think the castles apply that way. I'm not yes, sure. the castle doesn't have also the checkpoint, any of the eight castles, and all the entire world egg doesn't have a halfway checkpoint. This checkpoint flag, so if they die, they're gonna start the stage again. Gotcha. Now, Cantaloupe is on 8-1 and the small Mario pace, so let's see if he can manage to finish these stages like this or he is gonna go for a power-up. Well, we keep waiting until GTA gets a kind of mistake or something. And well, now looks like he's gonna try again the bullet bill glitch and... Okay, he was unable to get it, that was... Something bad, honestly talking. 
That was a good attempt. <laughs> props, props yeah. for him to try a little bit of swag here. Yeah, and at the same time we can s we have seen that the bullet bills trolled him because it's supposed that you need to wait for the one that gets shoots close to the to the floor, but he needed to wait because the game was shooting the other one. And while Cantaloupe's keeping playing as a small Mario, he's he looks like he's waiting for some moments in order to move. And okay, Cantaloupe tried to go for looks like he tried to go for the bullet wheel glitch again. He was so close but he wasn't able to get it. That's something really bad over here. Yeah, I for a moment thought that he was able to get it and GTA went for the sub pixel on this pipe on 8-4, he wasn't able to get it so he needed to take out the hide and the hide and block. It looks like now GTA is gonna win this match just if he doesn't get any big mistake up to this point, so let's see what happens. Now Cantaloupe finished 8-3, he's gonna move to 8-4 and looks like this is time for GTA. Now he got a sub-20 on this attempt, which was something really really good. Yeah, that's and well really now, good. now let's see, I think that Cantaloupe is gonna go and try to finish this attempt at last. Because unfortunately he got some bad luck with the first run. And well, Kanta's PB is at 2027, 20, so in some way this was close to be also a PB for him, but unfortunately that wasn't the case, but okay, it looks like he's gonna finish also his run, so let's see what happens over here. Does Cantaloupe is gonna get also a, is gonna get a sub-21? Okay, that's a time for him. That was a 2051. He stopped his timer lately. And yeah, GG for both of these guys. We think that now. I can say that now this was something good. Since Cantaloupe was able to finish a run instead of having a bad luck and feel forced to drop it. So I think that. I really, really like it this second match. So. With this, we can say that GTA is the winner of this match and Cantaloupe is gonna have a second opportunity on the loser's bracket. So now this makes that... This makes that GTA moves to the round 3 and Darpy is gonna... Wait, is wait, has been already waiting him to have a match so maybe uh, later we're gonna have this match we're gonna see this match between GTA and Darpy and also this makes that unfortunately our boy Cantaloupe moves to the losers bracket yep. but so and on this point okay continue I was gonna say for those of you that know a double elimination tournament works like whenever you lose once you go to like the losers bracket and you can still win the tournament, however, if you reach Grand Finals, you have to defeat whoever reached Grand Finals from the winner's side, like twice, because they have never lost that opportunity. But yeah, GG's to both runners here, it was a pretty good race, it was pretty fun to watch, it was pretty fun to commentate. If and well, also, since Candle died, now we're gonna see, because there's also a match between Jeremy and Kubord, but unfortunately Kubord wasn't able to do his first match, so he was moved to the loser's bracket. But also, if he's not able to do his match versus Jeremy, looks like we're gonna see a match between Cantaloupe and Jeremy on a future, but the time is gonna define that. Also, we're waiting just to watch another matches on this week, so... Let's see what happens on the rest of the tournament. Uh, well, 
with that being said, I want to thank the runners for the race tonight, the viewers, Ghost here joining for commentary. Thanks a lot, Ghost. Uh, any final words? Thanks a lot. Well, as my final words, I just want to say GG for both GTA and Cantaloupe. They has done their best. Definitely this was a very good match. And I really like this second one. GG. So now it's time to see how everything goes on future matches and also we're gonna hope to keep watching Cantaloupe on the tournament. He's, now he's gonna be on the loser's bracket, meaning that he has a second opportunity to keep on this tournament. So, And also thanks to everybody who was on the chat, who was that were watching this races so well i hope that you enjoyed this guys and see you next time see you next mission